CataractCoach.com, the crater chop technique. This method simplifies horizontal chop, and perhaps you should try it if you're trying to learn how to do FACO chop. An anonymous resident here is starting off by making a central crater using the FACO probe and applying a little bit of energy, low vacuum, low flow, but energy there in the center to emulsify and create a central pit. And you can see that pit is about as wide as the FACO tip, a pretty wide pit, and it goes pretty deep. It's at least 50% of the nucleus depth, so getting into that central dense part of the nucleus. And what this is going to allow you to do is place your chopper for the horizontal chop opposite it, and even if you don't have full occlusion, you'll be able to just use mechanical force to trap that nucleus between your FACO tip and the chopper and achieve the chop. So even if you don't have occlusion, because when I think about it now, you have a big crater there, and it's maybe a little tougher to get a, a you know occlusion. Normally, if you see me chop, I like to get occlusion of the phaco tip, and within that one second window, I like to go and chop that nucleus. So when I buzz into the phaco uh, nucleus, the phaco probe suction goes, and the vacuum goes up, 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 and then I chop. But here, you may not have to worry about that. Now, a lot of times being taken, making the central pit. This is two x speed. You probably could have moved the entire nucleus in this much time or less. So this is a big pit. Now, this may be getting a little carried away here. It's a very large pit. So this is almost getting into the bowling out the nucleus. Now, that's a technique I don't really recommend, but that was an old technique. Back more than 30 years ago, people used to bowl out the nucleus and just use this one-handed phaco technique. So there are some surgeons who still do it and, you know, enjoy whatever works in your hands. But this is now more and more of a crater, and you're thinking like, okay, when can we get to the good part? I feel you. I'm watching this for the first time with you. I get it edited uh, to make it faster, 2x speed, and cut out just the, the proper section of the nucleus removal, but okay with the crater. Let's get that chopper placement. While we're looking, let's take a look. The incision looks pretty good. I like the draping. The lashes are out of the way. The iris is parallel to the, uh, the floor of the room, so those parts are pretty good. So this resident's doing a great job in learning. Let's get that chopper in there. Now we're talking. All righty, there we go. Now the chopper goes around the equator. And now look, you just put the probe up against that wall of the crater and you can split. And then rotate and do the same. And then propagating that crack a little bit. Very nicely done. So you can see there was no need to buzz into the nucleus now because all you're doing in this technique is just kind of trapping that nucleus between the chopper on the one side around the equator, there's the chopper, and then the probe on against the wall of that crater. You can do this in position, foot position one. You don't have to change your foot position even. But try this next time with a smaller crater, though. That's a humongous crater, and I don't think you really need that. But again, chopper going around... And what's the advantage here? You've eliminated that time window, the pressure of the time window. Normally when you do phaco chop, when you buzz into the nucleus and hold it with phaco power or vacuum power, you get that 500 millimeters of suction or holding power for a second or two before it kind of crumbles the nucleus. So you have to chop it right in that second. But here with this technique, you don't have to do that because you're not worried about the high vacuum. You can chop in foot pedal position one. Now you can see the pieces are going to be removed pretty easily. And now you can just drag them out, um, out from the capsular bag and bring them here to the iris plane and emulsify. And I like the extra sub chops. That's always fun to do. And, you know, the beauty here in this case, look at the patient. That's a dense white cataract. This patient's going to be so incredibly happy. This is my, you know, one of my favorite things in ophthalmology. It's like the magic of taking someone from blind, like literally blind. What was this what was the pre-op vision here? Hand motion? Or maybe if you move your hand fast enough, wind perception? That was the pre-op vision. And yet you're going to be able to give this patient like clear vision the next day. Ah, such a, such a pleasure. We are so fortunate and blessed to be ophthalmologists, I tell you. So taking out the, the rest of that first half, and now you got a big piece left in the bag, and I think that can just be brought up and now chopped. Now you can do, oh, there's a quarter. Bring that quarter up, and now another chop there. So that's a traditional chop. See, the piece was being held by vacuum and then chopped. And you have, and he's chopping or she's chopping in that window of time. So beautiful job, young Jedi, um, whoever you are. I do appreciate you sending the video in. And you know what else? Look, the video's in focus, and the eye is centered 
beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So for 200 cases in, this is actually quite good. I'm really impressed. So for 200 cases in, this is certainly going to end up being a very, very um, skilled surgeon. Top of the bell curve here. This is fantastic. But the little things of, yeah, the crater took forever. But besides that, the hands are working beautifully. Maybe move that paracentesis a little bit farther away from the phaco probe. It's about two clock hours away. Maybe move it two and a half. But I'm kind of nitpicking. So let's take that last piece out. Beautiful. Try, try the, the crater technique. You may like it. may make your phaco chop easier. Maybe make a little bit smaller of a crater. But I do appreciate you guys watching. And thanks for sending these videos in. Take care.